<laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. And today, we're going to be helping, we're going to be painting. That's right, folks. We finally got Marduk put together over the weekend. And as you can see, there's a few pieces we didn't assemble just to make it easier to paint and to get into the little more difficult locations. But uh, this was a very fun dragon to put together. It's a little bit challenging once you've gotten him, his body and neck together to get him onto his little perch there. But as you can see, it actually is pretty cool looking. And uh, the little guy's going to be tackling most of the hard work tonight. Uh, why don't you tell him a little bit about that? Yes. Um, he decided to start painting around uh, 15 minutes ago uh, while we were waiting for the, the video to just start. Just working on the wings. No. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm going to be painting Mar Marduk. Yes. And the thing is, because there are some spots, notably two of the heads and the rib cage right here, right here. as well, yeah, as well as the wings, mm -hmm. that we can't, or at least I can't reach them. Yes. Yeah, so, so he's going to be painting them separately. And then stay. we'll put it all together. And uh, before uh, he gets too into it, I'm going to show you some of the colors we're going to be using. This is Aqua Flash from Folk Art, Emerald Flash from Folk Art, Blue Flash. I don't know if we're going to use the actual purple flash, probably not. But we also got a new color, uh, which is uh, just green flash, which is what I'm using here on the wing inserts. It's actually kind of a really cool metallic color change. And of changer. course it already split. Really? Oh, you're using one of the crummy brushes. Yeah. Um, you might want to just use this one. This is a really good one. It's yeah. Brand new brush. I just didn't want to damage it. He's also going to be using some Night Scale from Army I'm Painter. Using right now. Some Gunmetal Blue from Vallejo. Gemstone out of the new Army Painter Color Metallics, which is a really nice red. We it's won't, not new, though. Well, yeah, it's not new. And we won't be using that really weird, ugly red flash that's really pink. Might use it. Maybe, but I, I hope not. I hate this color. Um, I, I rarely actually hate a color, but that's, you know, anytime we, you know, we've gone over before, anytime you're dealing with a red metallic or red neon, it ends up pink or worse orange. And I think, well, either way. Um, and before we get too into it, I want to give a quick shout out. Last week, Wylock had a live stream for his 3D printer giveaway results and some other stuff that's going on. And during the show, we met some new YouTubers that have small channels like ourselves. And we wanted to thank them for, you know, subbing and uh, sharing their, their really nice videos with us. The, all three of them have some really uh, good, not just good videos, but uh, a lot of things that I haven't actually seen in the way of tips. And so I, I was really you know, going through their videos, starting with Carl Makes Stuff. Definitely go check out his channel, Miniature Magic. Check his channel out. Give him some encouragement because he's, he's a young guy who's just starting out and can really use, you know, not just encouragement, but, you know, a pat on the back for the, the hard work he's put in. And then, of course, uh, Q the DM, another good channel that uh, we, we discovered last week. And all three of you guys, thanks for uh, checking us out and for your advice so far. I uh, had a nice conversation with uh, Carl, and <laughs> he uh, he had he had some uh, some interesting things to say, and um, I, I'm actually looking forward to watching some of his videos tonight. So all three of you guys, thanks again, and of course, top of the heap, Wylock, thank you for everything you've done. <laughs> you have a little trouble there, buddy. Yes. And uh, yes, we will be participating in the the. Uh, tabletop craft. Don't make any promises just yet. I, I, I can't wait to do it. I, I, the uh, tabletop tabletop crafters challenge for I believe it's December is uh, ambush on the bridge or bridge ambush or something like that. And when I heard it, I instantly thought of an encounter the little guy had when he was playing D and D last year. Uh, I immediately thought about the encounter we had with a rope bridge last year. <laughs> he wants to incorporate our rope bridge that we it's made. A, it's an incredibly important. To the history of our very short-lived, very important channel, totally. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it is very important to our channel. It is a very defining moment. As soon as we did that, all of our crafts took a turn for the worse. Not quality, but when it comes to the process of making them. 
before they were easy. They were still they weren't as good. They were They're actual much better. Cri- quick crafts. They were yeah. quick. No longer is that the case. Ever since... The rope bridge, they now take at least a couple of hours. I mean, they're, they've gotten better. They've yes. gotten much oh, better. Yeah, absolutely. But, I mean... But they're no longer quick. They're, they're not something you can bang out in 30 minutes, which... Actually, well, we, we, were we do get one once every... Uh, blue moon? Three months. Yeah, once every blue moon, pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. Actually, I think literally. <laughs> literally. I, I don't remember the last blue moon. It was a few months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, next time, tell me so we can like get ready for it. And come up with some really hokey, quick craft. <laughs> yeah. Just one left. So, uh, I'm just going to do one of the wings right now. That's just the uh, the uh, new green color. It, it's really nice. I don't appreciate that. Uh, is the hound dog doing something weird? Yes, he's eating a plastic wrapper. Yeah, you know what? I saw him walking a minute ago. If you guys saw me laughing, I could see my hound dog. Uh, <laughs> he had a... <coughs> Excuse me. He had a Starburst wrapper stuck to his nose, and I, I was, you know, dogs. You know, dogs. They they find stuff. They do silly stuff, and you know, you gotta love them. Now, uh, on this one, I'm gonna let this paint dry, but then I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna be using this blue flash to do the 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 spines or the fingers of the actual wing. You're using uh, the. Is that the? Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Uh, is that the uh, blue from Vallejo? This? Yeah. That's... Uh, oh, it's a... Uh, night. What, uh, what do you mean, blue? Uh, night scales. We really like this color. This is a really nice... It's good. Uh, it's you very... Know, ominous looking color. And since this dragon has, you know, five different heads, one of which... I we didn't is, say that word in this household. What, ominous? Never mind. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's got one of his... One of the parts of his body is from a black dragon. And I'm glad you actually did decided to do the top scales in black. I was going to say something about that. Um, it's yeah. just because this is the black dragon. Or this is very similar, if not identical. Aside from to maybe Dracula's? The, yeah, I think it's just a, it's a different sculpt, but just different. Yeah, the, Dracula's, Dracula's mouth is open. His is closed. Right. Um, so it's obviously not the exact same thing. They made the mouth, they closed the mouth. Right, but, but it's, it's got the, the same mo- horns. Yeah, and... it's very similar. Not the same, obviously, but it's it's close enough to where we decided that it's also going to be the head of a black dragon. Yeah. We, we went through the Archon Dragons uh, this afternoon and before the show to kind of get an idea of which head was which um, and, and paint them, you know, so that they match up with our, our pre-painted miniatures that we already have. And I wanted to say a little something about these craft paints that we've been using a lot. They're they're actually, you know, uh, they're they're turning into our workhorses in our paint collection. They really get a lot done, and you know, not just because they're you know color shifter or you know what have you, but they really, you know, being that they they have really unique colors, and you get a lot. For your money, that we've been using them a lot lately, and we've actually been really happy with them. We could use a lot of different paints. We, you know, we we have Reaper, we have Viejo, we have Army Painter, we have Citadel, and until the Army Painter Speed Paints come out, uh, you know, you'll see a bit more of these. But you know, if, if something requires, you know, your, some of your more basic colors, we will probably go with, you know, probably Reaper or Army Painter, but then, you know, there's a lot of good Citadel paints that we use. There's a lot of good Vallejo paints. Even though I think we need to actually get a few more colors that we don't have from them. You need a pokey tool. Yes. I should have brought one out. Yeah. Especially since we just got a new one from Blue G's eBay store, and I've been using it. Uh, we, we, I've actually been trying to really step up my painting game at night once, you know, little guy's gone to bed, and, you know, instead of just watching, you know, Netflix or YouTube or something, I've been trying to get some actual painting done, and... 
you know that that 30 minutes to an hour a day minimum really really pays off especially when <laughs> I haven't been painting much at all lately I've been working on the crafts and 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 you know finishing up projects and then you know hitting my 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 ice cream before bed, which I know is a horrible, horrible habit, but... That's almost worse than some... No. Yeah, it, it's... Actually, not, no, it is, in fact, the it's, worst it's not good. It's not good. You but, have. Yeah. Well, aside from... Yeah, from all oh, my, you know, <laughs> what, my secret drug supplier, is that what you are going to say? Uh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't going to say your secret drug, drug supplier. <laughs> I was going to say your very open drug supply. Yeah, no, don't do drugs, kids. We're, we're, we're not big fans of that. It, it, well, just, it just slows you down. Well, it depends what your definition of drug is, because for him, then... Yeah, 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 we won't <laughs> talk about that. Yeah. You do not... Um. I mean, how else did you get that idea for the heating up the camp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that that was just uh, years and years of... Uh, drug use? No, of, of uh, jury rigging and, and improvising different things throughout the years. And, you know, every once in a while I come up with a good idea... Yes, every once. <laughs> and that really, you know, I, you know, I, I could go out and buy the tool, and I probably will this 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 year. I'll probably get a, a circular drill bit uh, for my drill, so I can cut circular holes. But at the time, I didn't have one, and I'm kind of trying to save up my money for a proxon because I, I I have had a lot of fun with. Uh, XPS foam, as you saw with the mausoleum, even though it was a little shaky, I, I, I could just picture how much more I could do without having to rely on just an alpha knife and, and a ruler, and I, I really want to make some larger pieces, some, not even necessarily larger pieces, but, you know, more, more precision, more neat and tidy looking stonework for different things. And I want to teach the little guy how to use it because I know when he was younger, you know, he was, we've talked about this before, he was a big Lego maniac. Hmm. And I could just imagine the stuff that he would come up with on his own. I'll be amazed. I know you guys will too when you see some of his other ideas and things that he's come up with. He's a very, very creative little guy. Thank you. Do you think that's the right color choice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me try it over here. I just wanted this green to dry a little before I well, start. Oh, you're using the blue fade? Yeah. Or if blue flash or whatever yeah, it's you're called. You're just going to hit... Okay. I'm just going to do half of it. Yeah. I was going to remind you that we only do half. Yeah. Even though I started doing other stuff on the wings. And and this dragon, i got to, you know, be honest with you folks. It's, it's so much more complicated than all the other dragons. And yeah, I might only be other, able to do one the, color. Yeah, other than the uh, Oregon, the Denouncer, I think it's, it's called. I forget what it's, it's his title is. But that dragon, you know, obviously we haven't done it this year uh, for a good reason because that's... I don't know if it's more complicated than this one in assembly, mm -hmm. but I think the paint job warrants that it we really, really give it, you know, yeah, a lot more. Yeah, we're doing it next month. Yeah. Oh, spoiler alert. No, no. Maybe we're not. I don't know. It's that and... Yeah, we are. Um, it, well, it's, actually, it's, we have one other option, but we're not using it. We have... Yeah, no, kid, we're definitely not doing that one until uh, the month after, I think. <laughs> no, yeah. No, actually, no. Uh, we're not going to do that because it would be too similar. Um, or we, we actually have, I think, like most people uh, who, who bought the last Kickstarter from Archon... They got several Oregons, and, you know, clearly Archon was not too thrilled about having to shell out extra almost a million dollar Dragon Kickstarter stretch goals, and so they changed things up a bit. And Which makes sense. Yeah, you know, but at the same time, you know, it, 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 it's... It's no different than a set of stretch goals or some of the other stuff they give away when it comes down to it. When it, you know, co what it what it costs to, to put out on the, you know, maybe you know, into production. Oh. You know, it's I, I don't I don't mean to you know 
talk down about how, what it takes to, to put a box together and stuff. But, you know, we were very grateful that we got them. And, you know, I know a lot of other people really wish that, you know, some of the other stuff would be, you know, one per, you know, pledge as opposed to one per address or however they did it. Um, but, you know, I'll, people will still find a way, you know, they'll make separate orders to get them if that's what they want. You know, it's not impossible. Or just, you know, shell out the 20 bucks at the time or the 30 bucks. For, yeah, if you really want them, you might You know, well. I mean, compared to the price of a model kit made by any other miniature company, not necessarily a model car or airplane kind of company, but, you know, any, any you know, miniature gaming model kit, they're, they're, they're pretty expensive. You know, uh, the, the big company that we're not going to talk about right this moment, you know, you can't get out the door with any of their kits for less than like 50 bucks. And, yeah. And I, you know, I get it, you know, when you're, when you're the big dog, you can demand whatever price you want. But I mean, their stuff is still good. Yeah, their stuff's great, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, when it comes to, you know, newbies like us, or, you know, just, just the economy right now, or, you know, people, you know, not knowing whether or not they want to, get into the hobby, you know, I've talked about it before, you know, give them a break, you know, you want them to come back, and so paying, you know, 30 bucks for an Archon Dragon, or 25 bucks, or whatever it is right now, is, is really no big, you know, hardship, and I know certain things, you know, like some of the dragons we've done, what was it we wanted to get another one, was it Draculus? That we yes, it was. A, we wanted to get another Draculas just because... We want to paint them differently. Yeah, completely different paint job. You want to paint them slightly differently and not be a massive uh, uh, thing. Right. And uh, I wanted to paint them completely differently because I didn't originally want to paint them that way. Yeah. But it still, it still ended up for me. Maybe a bit too edgy for my taste, but... Too edgy for your taste? You're joking, right? Yes, I am. Because he's... You know, Not he, as bad as you, though. The son of an edgelord. What do you expect, right, folks? Yes, I am one of the original okay. edgelords. Never mind. And, uh, yeah, I heard that. I hope they didn't. Especially your mom. She'll, she, she's Anyways, um, I believe I'm done with the block. Okay, wash your brush and move on to the next one. And I'm just, I don't know why that one spot is just super wet, so I'm going to have to skip it. Which one? Right here. See that green area? Yes, I see that. It's just, it's just, I don't know why it's, the green is wet there when everything else is pretty much dry. But So what do you think? Is that going to... Hmm. Yeah, I think it looks good. I'm sorry. What do you think, it. folks? I like it. I like it. You know, and again, these color shifting paints, once you familiarize yourself with them and practice a little and if you need to, water them down or, or you know, water them down a lot if you want they they really aren't they're really not that different from you know some of the other companies I'm not going to pick on or, or say which 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 paint company they remind me of but it's, uh, I need a there's one paint that I forgot to get okay yeah. I, I really can't move you know I'm oh stuck. yeah I'm stuck here folks yeah uh, we, we move things around for the holidays gonna have people over for Christmas Day, I believe. So we had to change the angle of the table to fit more people in. No, that's not a fat joke. Um, and uh, so it's it's really close to the wall. Okay, I'm going to leave this and go on to some of the other stuff that I need to do, which is... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the Undead Dragon head. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. We actually had a lot of fun this weekend playing a new game that if you caught us on Facebook, you can get a hint as to what that new game is. It's uh, It was a lot of fun. The little guy had a lot of fun. I'm actually uh, looking forward to playing it more often. I know he is. He's already uh, talking about playing it tomorrow night, which if... Uh, Never happen. If you get your... Your homework done, you get your dinner and all, all that other, you know, good stuff done. Gold? Yes. Okay. 
I need to think about this. Can I steal your improvised pokey tool? Yes. Although I don't think I actually need it. I think it's just had some dry glue. Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. What are you going to take? The improvised pokey tool. Yes. <laughs> yeah, why pay $6 when you can just grab a safety pin, right folks? Yeah, even though this one, this one is not as good. Yeah, the, the pokey tool. The, the new one is, is really good. But the I old wish... one wasn't. Well, no, it was you good. Know, you know what? It I, just I... got lost every five seconds. Yeah, if... If it had a better, you know, the handle, I like it because it's got a really nice long handle and it has a long needle pokey part. And whereas the Reaper pokey tool, it's got a decent sized needle, but the, the, the handle, you know, it, 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 it's just as easy to lose because it's just a smaller contraption. I wish that... But it's probably also a bit easier to find. <laughs> yes and no, I, I, and I think, you know, that... I mean, I guess it depends where you lose it. You know, we might just, you know, make a quick craft of improvising pokey tools. Okay. No, um, we're not. No. We might. That actually does sound like... If, if we could find actually out... Actually, doesn't sound that much of a bad idea, uh, idea as a if we, If I can find out exactly what that metal thing is that we're using, it's a knitting or needle point or... Didn't some... you lose it, though? No, no, I actually, it's it's on my... my one of my because many painting table areas. Because even though the new one is smaller, it's e if you lose it... It's easier to find because the original one, it's so thin and it looks like so much, so many other stuff. You'll have a pile of paintbrushes and it'll be in between two paintbrushes, but you won't see it. Yeah. Because it's so thin and it just blends in somehow, despite being very shiny, which might actually contribute to it. Yeah. It doesn't um, seem like it would, but I think it actually does. I'm using some skeletal bone here, but I'm watering it down quite a bit. I think it's just so reflective, even though it isn't that reflective, that it just blends in. Yeah. Because... You yeah. see the thing that's next to it on it, which right? Or makes you know, it look think about like it. I was going to say that the, that it, it looks like the the metal parts of the paintbrush, or something like that. But yeah, it does sort of reflect its immediate, you know, Even surrounding. It's, not that it's like a predator <laughs> of painting tools. Yeah. And uh, maybe we just find some nice big handle or or something, you know, silly to put on it, you know, like a troll or something. You know, one of those, those those trolls that, you know, have the funny hair, you know, the girls put on their pencil topper type things? I don't know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Everybody out there probably does. Um, okay, well, we don't have the way it. you described it makes me glad I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you're not missing out, but, but it's, uh, it's, when, when I was growing up, all the girls I knew had them on their pencils. It was just some silly sort of fad. People were into at the time. You know, I'm watering this 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 army painter uh, skeletal bone down a lot because it's you know, one it's army painter and <laughs> <laughs> because I'm doing the the undead dragon this head. This one actually seems like it's watered down too much. What is that color? Oh, gold. Very gold. Yeah, you know what I I, I noticed that uh, army painters you know got a lot of hit or miss issues. But, you know, it's just something about Army Painter that we just like. You know, maybe it's just, you know, they've been, they've been good to us, you know, since the beginning. And, you know, they're, 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 the spirit of the, that particular company, I want to say, is something that, that I just, I, I could feel, you know, they really care about the customers a little bit more. Viejo seems kind of, Standoffish, you know they they're not as elitist as the other guys, but they're they're just you know they're just so hard to you know contact or get in touch with, you know it's like they're you know uh, hiding out from the world and, and they're just making products uh, you know under duress almost. Whereas Army Painter, you know if you've ever watched their their uh, their recent videos and stuff, they're you know. They 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 just they just have a better, happier mood maybe because they're not surrounded by you know tyranids and necrons and things like that. What? They, 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 I I've just been getting a kick out of the army painter videos, and, and I actually had a couple of conversations online with them about different things, not just you know comments from the comment section, which is nice that they actually you know do answer the comments from the comment section. Yeah, it's always nice when you see that. But, uh, For multiple reasons, of course. I had a I had an issue, you know. Whenever you buy a, a larger army painted product, you get that little 
contact us, you know, email address, card, in case there's an issue, something's broken or damaged or something. Then I had an issue with one of their their products, and, you know, they, they didn't hesitate to get back to me, you know, as soon as the weekend was over. And, you know, like I said, they, they just seemed like, you know, they're just a lot more jovial, you know, happy-go-lucky company, you know. I know they're out to make a buck, you know, don't get me wrong, but they're just, you know, I don't want to say nicer, you know, because, you know, even though that is true, <laughs> it just doesn't sound... I'm not, I don't want to say this thing, even though it's true, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's just, they just, I don't know. I just get, you know, a, 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 a friendlier vibe from them, let's put it that way. You know, I have dealt with other companies and they, you know, sometimes seem like they don't care. or Sometimes? The, or the fact that they've got, you know, 700,000 customers emailing them at once that they just can't get around to dealing with my microscopic little problem. Like, you know, I know it's not the end of the world, but... You know, this black is actually taking a lot longer to paint than I expected. <laughs> yeah, it, it tails a lot longer than yeah, I it, expected. It, it's, it's almost uh, his, his tail's almost like the uh, the Xeno Dragon in in length. I want to say. Yeah, the only difference is it doesn't look like it. Hmm. You know, that looks so good. I don't know if you can actually see this, folks, but it's it's actually got this bluish. That's because it's actually watered down slightly, and I didn't. It wasn't intentional. Hmm. That effect is entirely by accident, but it looks really, really good. Uh, you mean by the end of the tail here, right? No, I mean all along it. I, it it's, it's, hmm. it's, it's, it's really nice. And if you guys don't have the uh, Army Painter Metallics set yet, you know, I, I would definitely put it on my Christmas list. Um, I'm hoping, um, because I saw with uh, one of the products I got, they actually added those colors to their, you know how they have that little hexagon, little chart of all the oh. colors. They actually finally added those colors to it. So maybe there's a chance that we can start getting bottles, you know, individually instead of having to buy the set. Because I, I, I don't want to have to get another bottle of that metallic pink. Just to... Just to get, uh, you know, the one color that I need. All right. Okay. All right. Um, what brush do you think I should use for the green on that side? Uh, you know, I would use the same one, just wash it out a bit. If it's black? It's, yeah, it's a, it seems like it's a good brush, so. Okay. But uh, we do have to call it quits in a moment here, so don't get too carried away. Yeah. Get what you can. We, we, don't, like, we don't like our videos running past 30 minutes, to be honest. Uh, we've had a couple of hour, 45 minute videos. I was in the past. But we're, we're trying to break Possibly away from that again. Yeah. Maybe next year when we can get some editing skills under our belt, we'll be able to do some of these things and, you know, That's cut out my rambling. You know, and just get down to it, to the, the nitty-gritty. What you want to see is the, the actual painting and stuff. And what color was his head? Do you remember? That one? That one was... Is that the blue one? Yeah, that's the blue one. Okay. So should I use the uh, VAO? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's, yes, this is the VAO. I believe so. Unless I'm very mistaken. I'm going to do the head and... Oh, that looks good. Do you, you agree that that was the right choice? Yes, I would have. I was. I think I need to shake that up a little bit. Did you shake this? No, I didn't. Did you shake the... Uh, nightshade or night scale? I did shake oh, the okay. But I didn't use that color. So. Am I shaking the table too much for you? No. Okay. It doesn't really bother me that much. Okay. At least right now. Okay, that should be enough. Yeah, that's a really cool color. Let's say uh, when I finish this head, that uh, we call it, a, call it a night. Are you going to do the entire head? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, speaking of not liking when it's 30 minutes. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, exactly. I just looked up at the clock, sorry, folks. Yeah, I... Hate I, to be a clock watcher, but 
it is Sunday night. The little guy does have to get back to school. And uh, even though he has vacation time coming up real soon, we want him to... Actually, I should have to do some more pointing here. Get him up early. He, he's up at 6.30 in the morning for school. Rawr. Interesting. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite colors of all time. Definitely top ten. You know, I think I do need to water down just a little bit though. Does this look kind of blended together? Yeah, it does actually. Just add a tiny bit of this right here. Put some of that. Okay, now does it look more blended together? Yeah, a little. It needs a little work though. Yeah, I think. Okay, I'm going to make it focus now. In my glasses? Don't want to obscure any of the details around his eyes. So I'm going to keep watering down here. I find that watering it down when it's already on the project is better than watering it down, watering the paint down before you actually put it to your brush is sometimes a little bit more helpful. You can just spread it around. Thin it out. Hey, do you think this model. works as blind? Yeah, 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 that, that works. I put that in there. I'm done with the little bits that I was going to do tonight. Thank you. So you want to call it? Uh, I believe so. Okay. I mean, you can you can keep painting after we say goodnight to everybody. Yeah, the... There's a few problems with that. It's getting late. Yeah, yeah and well, you've got you've got a busy week ahead of you. So thanks for stopping by, folks. We guys really appreciate uh, all of our new viewers and all of our old viewers, of course. Hope you guys had a great weekend, but have a better week. Make sure you stop by Tuesday for a really fun review. And uh, until then, once again, never mind. Anyways, I, I we would like <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we would like to thank all of you for helping us in establish the new order. Good night.